Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nina of Live, Plan, Love, and today I will be doing a flip through of my A6 journal. So yes, I said journal. This is not a planner. I don't need another planner for me. I'm pretty happy with my current planner system. So I will definitely get a how I use multiple planners video up soon. Hopefully it will be the next video I do um, because I do have a lot of videos I want to show you. I'm officially backed up on two weeks in my memory planner so we're going into the third week so I need to catch up on those as well. Um, I'm so sorry that I have been gone. I haven't really been posting on Instagram or I obviously haven't posted anything on YouTube and you know it, it was nice to kind of have a break. Like I had my space from just like the world and I'm thinking this is like my comeback so I'm officially back so anyways just let's go back to the flip this is from Foxy Fix of course which I believe this is going to be my last Foxy Fix purchase this I don't know it's just I just had so many like bad experiences with Foxy Fix and I just started purchasing from them like within the last six months and I think I just have everything that I need and I've already had like two mishaps with planners that I ordered from them so it's like you know what that's it I'm pretty happy with all the Foxy Fix notebooks that I have. Anyways this is the Lush in the ballerina slipper color so Lush is the leather baller ballerina slipper is the color and I freaking love it. Honestly when I was first watching people's videos of it, I'm like, eh, I don't like it because it has, like, this pebbling texture, but you guys, it's beautiful. Stacey from Stacey Ann Plans purchased one maybe, like, two or three months ago, and I held it, I touched it, and I was like, yeah, I want one. But, yeah, so I got the white stitching, the white elastic. In the front, I have the script, the new script that they just, like, released or they it's like the new thing that they have going on um so this one i got in love i got it in the blind embossing because i was really nervous let me show you why because for the spine i decided to do silver foiling for the fox and pip bow and um i was really nervous about this foiling so i just decided to go with the blind embossing just to make it like neutral and if i hated it I won't hate it that much because it's just in blind embossing, you know what I mean? And it's not like one of those things you can just like return it or exchange. So let's just get into the planner. So this is the top view, this is the side view, and yeah. It does a little pinching with the um, elastic, and this leather is very, very squishy. When people that I watched here on YouTube we're talking about their Lush Leather, and I'm like, oh, how is it squishy? That doesn't make any sense. Guys, it makes perfect sense. But yeah, so with the Lush Leather configurations for the pockets, they have like this crisscross, which I love so much because you have these squared corners. I love squared corners. I don't know why. It's just, I like it better than the rounded ones. But let's just go into the pocket first. This little bow magnetic clip is from um, Three Glitter Peas. I love it, love it so much. Oh, by the way, all my papers and stuff like that, the majority of the setup is from the June subscription box from Happy Scrappy. So it has a lot of silver or hollow foiling so i decided to pull in as much of that as i can so here we have a hollow bow from three glitter peas this is a patch that came with the happy scrappy kit and then i just use a piece of um of the michael's doily paper and i really love how that looked because originally i had it just like that and i was like how can i make it pretty and i didn't want to put acetate there i don't know why so I just think this looks way better than what I thought it was going to be. It's just so simple, but it just brings in a lot of character. Here we have a die cut from the kit. I really love how the character like peeps out on the side. So I thought it was so cute there. And then back here, I made like a little, not a dashboard, I don't know what to call this. But this hollow paper is from Michaels. These are from um, all these Hello Kitty uh, stickies were from like a little pad from Kino Kunia. I don't remember how it's pronounced, but it's a Japanese bookstore. Um, but those are really adorable. This planner girl die cut is from Live Life and Create. And originally, I didn't have everything adhered 
um, to the paper. So I originally had it stuck on with this pen gems clip, and I believe this was from... Um, I got this when I ordered from the Spring Flame Collection. And um, I obviously don't need it anymore since everything is stuck down now, but I just thought that it was really cute and brought in the green colors throughout the spread. All my dashboards are from Foxy Fix, so I did get like the regular pockets and then the secretarial. Um, and then I didn't fill them with paper, I just have die cuts in them because I like to see the layers through, um, through it. I actually got this idea from, I believe her Instagram is Amanda Lee plans. I'm not really sure, but I'll have her linked below. She also has, um, she, I see, I follow her on YouTube and Instagram. Um, but she did this in her pocket and I really love how that looks. So I decided to bring it into my A6. So this die cut is from Toto Papel. This is from the Happy Scrappy kit. This is from the kit as well. This flower cup is from Banana Doodle Shop. Um, this vellum is from the kit, of course. This one says Good Sunshine and Happy Times, and this one says Summer. I forgot to mention, but this was in collaboration with C. Amy Draw, so this is Amy's lettering, which I love so much. I haven't been able to order from her yet, but I do plan on doing so in the future, because I freaking love her lettering. I, like, wish she can do, like, a lettering guide or something, or a class. That would be cool, even though I don't live anywhere near her to attend a class. I don't know. Um, so on this paper, or this piece of cardstock, I have attached, um, excuse me, I have a bunch of these pockets throughout the setup, and they're all from the Target dollar spot. Woo! I don't know why I keep sneezing. I, every time I clean, I always get sick the next day. Anyways, so that's probably why you hear me like daisily. Um, so here we have a little journaling card. And on the back of it, I just have a picture of myself. This is my profile picture, actually. And then I have live, plan, love at the top. Focus. Oops. Let me show you. I was being a little playful with my lettering. There you go. So it says live, plan, love. I love it. And fun fact, if you guys didn't know, I, like, I made live, plan, love because originally, actually, I'm going to save that for my Q&A section in my Plan With Me video because there's actually, like, a reason why I decided to have, like, my YouTube channel Live Plan Love. Moving on. Um, I really love how the Happy Scrappy papers are double-sided and they're, like, different designs, so it's not the same design on each side, which I enjoy. So we have two different designs, and this one says Less Monday, More Summer. This is an Annie Plans printable. Let me show you a blank one first. This is what it looks like and how I use it. Oops. How I use it. Um, I'm going to be using this insert when I plan in my Erin Condren. Well, not plan. It's my memory planner with like where I go like ham with my stickers. So I usually have like things that I did that day. Like either I sit down and think about it and then it takes me forever to set up for filming. Um, so I figured why not just have an insert that I can reference all the time. They're all in one place because I usually have like papers just everywhere. Um, so I thought this insert was the best. So I just have the date covers. These are from the kits. I'll show you the sheets at the end because I have them stored in the back. Um, I just... This is like a note section. Um, there's more that I want to write here because I haven't even picked out like what kit I'm gonna use in other like miscellaneous things. Like I'll probably have like speaking notes here too for when I record my voiceover. I haven't done that yet, but you guys will see that very, very, very soon. Um, yeah, so that's that insert. This is the back of everything on the back of that dashboard. I just have die cuts from the Happy Scrappy kit. They're so, so adorable. So I wanted to just stick them everywhere I could. So in this pocket, I had this little, like, this is like a gift tag thing. Um, this is from the Paper Panda box from the February box. And um, I really like it. I'm assuming that you could, like, fold this in half or something like that. But I didn't want to give this to anyone. I wanted it for myself, and I really love it as, like, a layering piece. It looks really pretty. This is a die cut from the kit. This is a picture of me and my boyfriend from the GOT7 concert. So cute. On this side, I have another pocket, um, and I have another journaling card from Project Life. 
This is another piece from the same paper panda box. So, so adorable. And in this little section, I have like a little gold theme. And then here is a little tidbit. This is from the pencil pouch that I got from Denise from Paper and Milk's table um, at the Wonton and Million Carnival Party. Her theme was magician theme, so that's what we have there. This text acetate is from Michaels. It's gold on this side and then rose gold on the other. I think that's adorable. And I thought it was like, perfect in the section because we have like our golds and then we have like the pinks so I thought that was really cute so this was the main reason why I got this a6 traveler's notebook because I am in love with this insert I was using it in my b6 for my task management um, writing down any events that way I can bring those into my Erin Condren and also I had a section for journaling like I wrote out like a little blurb on how I was feeling that day stuff like that but since i changed my like planning system i moved out of my b6 into other planners but i still wanted to use this insert and i was like i can't use it for daily tasks um because it just wasn't practical you'll it'll make sense when i do like a how i use multiple planners video but yeah so i want to use it for my journaling so we have a monthly section and this is undated um so i just have to write out the month here i haven't lettered in forever so that's why i don't have it written out yet and then these date dots are from the kits and then i just write out a big thing that happened that day and then i'm not going to show you like my actual entries because that's personal but i wanted to show you my setup anyways these little tabs are from the kit they mark the end of one week and the beginning of the next one um because this insert is for five weeks and that's how i set up i have it set up for the month of august um so it only came with four tabs but i thought it was perfect so yeah so you have a this week section and then you have a full page for each day so what i'm going to use this section for when i was doing this for task management i was planning my week on this section but since this is a journal for like my personal life this is like my reflection on maybe on how the week went or things that I definitely want to remember like um for example like last week someone sent me ha happy mail and like actually reached out to me and said and asked if I was okay so I want to have that um I had that written for the day for the daily but I also want to bring that into my reflection because that was one of the big things that happened in the week um, but yeah. Oh, and then this little bookmark is from Three Glitter Peas as well. So I just have that marking the current day I'm on. So this is just the back of the insert. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this was also a collaboration with C. Amy Drop. Anyways, this is the acetate, the back of the paper. So for this insert, we start off with a secretarial dashboard. Um, same concept. I just have die cuts stuck in there. These are both from the Happy Scrappy Kit. This is a munchkin vinyl from Once More With Love. I kind of lost an eye when I was putting this down. So it kind of looks weird. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I had to use um, adhesive to put that down. But that was completely my fault. I really suck at peeling up vinyls. So this is the insert that came with the Happy Scrappy kit. When you subscribe to her kit, she does include um, an insert for the size that you choose when you subscribe. So this was an A6 Travelers Notebook subscription, obviously. So this is what they look like. I really, really like them. I honestly, I don't have a use for it right now because I didn't want to have my daily journaling in here because these would throw me off because like, I don't have, this is like my journal, so I don't have any tasks. So I was thinking I'll do like running list of like shows that I want to watch and stuff like that. Um, haven't really figured it out yet. I don't have anything written in there, but I'm going to figure it out. Here is a bow that came with the kit, and I really love it because it looks like cotton candy, and um, I really love white paper clips. And I haven't, um, I don't have any, so I thought that was so adorable. So I just have that there, and then on the back of the secretarial dashboard, I have just a bunch of pictures and die cuts. This die cut is from Paper and Milk. This is from the Happy Scrappy kit. This is a picture of myself half of my boyfriend's face, um, my sister and my cousin, so, so adorable. This is a picture of me holding one of my favorite planners. Um, this is my budget planner. This is the Filofax Croc Pocket and Fawn. And I really love pictures like this, which I want to include more pictures like this on my feed eventually when I try to figure it out, which is one of the reasons why I haven't been posting on Instagram because I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm in like a funk. Um, 
especially with like my feed and just like things that I post. So I have to figure that out. But anyways, on the back I have, whoops, um, I don't have them attached to anything because commitment issues. But yeah, this is just a page dedicated to my best friends, and I love it, love it so much. This die cut that says magic is in us all is from Paper and Milk, and then this is from the kit. And I really, really love this picture. So, so much. Um, so in the next insert, this is, these are actually two inserts on one band. I have five inserts in here, and the compact... I, didn't, I don't think I mentioned it, but this is the compact. So it has four strings, but I have five inserts. So I just have the last two on a jump band. Um, so yeah, so this is paper from the kit, vellum from the kit. I have a reading log, which I messed up on printing. This is supposed to be on the back of this one, but my printer messed up or I messed up. I don't know. And I didn't want to reprint the cover page to have it like correct because this takes up a lot of ink but it's so cute I can't help it um but yeah I'm currently not reading anything right now I did start two books right before I started the school session but I need to get back into that my goal is to have this filled out by the end of 2019 because this is a lot so I think I can do it maybe I don't know but I, that's like one of my goals so this is the um, vellum, the paper, I just have another pocket with a die cut from GP Sticker Studio. This is actually like a vinyl die cut sticker, so if I wanted to peel off the back, I can use a sticker. This little cutie patootie here is from Stationary Heaven Co. And then this last insert, I have um, more of that text acetate here from Michaels. The last insert is just grid paper, and here is just I don't want it to be like notes, but it's like my miscellaneous things that I want to have in my journal. But yeah, here I just have like questions that people ask me for my 500 YouTube subs Q&A, which will be up soon in my next plan with me. But yeah, I just have all that there. And then in the back, I have another pocket with a picture of myself and my boyfriend. This vinyl says Everyday Magic. Let me just show you. That is so freaking pretty that's from paper and milk um in this pocket i have another one of those um scrap doily paper from michael's this die cut is so adorable i can't pick it up my nails oh my god struggling um this is from the kit as well so so cute this is another this is a shorter bookmark from three glitter peas and then these are stickers that come with the kit i did use some um, but I'll show you what we have. These are the date covers. Comes at five weeks worth. These were the date dots, which I've already used. Today and to-do headers. These are boxes. These are um, tabs that I need to use. Um, haven't used them yet. Because I thought they were just like appointment labels. But then I realized that they were upside down. So these are tabs um, that I need to do something about. Um, and what I love is that she uses the space on so these like little tabs are actually stickers. So, so cute. These are checklists. We have like the regular checklist here and then the full box checklist there. These are the decorative full box. These are so adorable and I don't know what she prints them on, but they're really, really good quality. So I just have that stuck here and then behind it, I just have more of that hollow paper from Michaels and that is pretty much it. I don't have anything in the back. I just have, um cardstock um to like have structure for the flap because this is very floppy or floppy i don't know and then scrap michael's paper just in case i wanted to add that somewhere so yeah that pretty much concludes this video i hope you guys enjoyed um i will be posting more soon um so yeah i hope you guys stick around definitely check me out on instagram at liveplan.love and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye